Hi, this is Airbag Trailers, and we thought we'd just do a quick walk around tech tour of a uh, one of our full tread plate trailers. This one's getting the full steel tread plate. Um, so before it's on, um, we can quickly show some of the features. And uh, yeah, so starting at the front, at the tongue, um, we've got our uh, own design of a uh, spare wheel brace. Um, there it's a three-piece design. We sort of blend the top so it um, all kind of looks more like like a single unit. Um, here's the jack brace. It's got eight holes for two heights. That's depending on whether or not uh, it comes, the jack has the uh, caster wheel attached or not. So two different height settings. Um, and that's a three-piece design and uh, gets welded together, all three eight three eighth inch plate. Um, same with the uh, front bracket here. So this is height adjustable for for different uh, vehicles, um, depending on you know obviously if you've got a drop jack, then uh, you can get a lot of adjustment from that too. But this just gives some more adjustment options. Uh, and then we've got a, a pass through for the uh, wiring and and mounting points for the uh, the breakaway switch. So. The front air system base uh, bracket isn't in yet, um, so that kind of goes in that area there. Uh, and then we've got our winch bracket, uh, which secures to this cross member, and uh, the winch will fit up into the inside the toolbox, and so it's it's protected, but it's still solidly mounted to the to the frame. And then uh, these bottom tabs here. Uh, these two uh, where the air system picks up uh, and so a oh, quick note on the jig so the frame jig uh, is here and uh, this is the the front frame and then uh, it's a bit more clear up here you know what's the trailer and and what's the jig so we've got the the frame jig you know with these members that keep everything in place as well as um, you know the frame itself um, so these two tabs here this one and this one there's uh, two on each side there for the toolbox, so it just simply sort of bolts in place. Um, we blend the corners uh, after welding, just so it's you're not going to, you know, catch yourself on it, and it's nice aesthetically as well. Um, front tie down points. Uh, this is a new design for this year. We're trying something different. Um, it's a folded uh, design. So moving along, we've got obviously a lot of cross members. We add these all in for the full tread plate to support the tread plate at every foot. So they're a two by two uh, square tube and uh, they just get welded on the sides. So you can see like one, two, uh, there's sort of plenty of weld to hold them on. And the um, thing with that as well is if you were to weld them the whole way around, um, you end up putting too much heat into the frame and, and it wants to uh, shrink and because they're all on the top of the frame uh, it would kind of bend the frame a lot more so normally we have uh, during welding there's there's these Bessie clamps which are heavy duty clamps to hold everything in place so so we don't get any sort of warpage or bending um, but they've been removed so so moving along you can see that the basic design is and we've got channels on the outside and then we've got a uh, rectangle tube in the inside so there's kind of four longitudinal members. They're all four inches tall, so it's a really stout frame. Um, we've got a, a central cross member. That one gets fully welded in, so that, that's full height as well. And then uh, here's our suspension brackets. So this is where everything picks up. So you've got the airbag bolt hole here, which will get drilled through the tread plate as well. And then uh, pick up points for the, for the suspension and then and then for the holes for the wiring and, and, uh, and the air lines in, in that as well. So there's, there's holes on both sides just because it's a uh, universal left-right part. So it's the same one on, uh, you know, on the opposite side. Uh, and so here, here's a hole for our wiring um, out to the, the front side marker lights. So this all gets blended too. Same, same reason, just for aesthetics and... Uh, and you know, if you walk past it, you're not going to catch your catch your leg on it. Um, we sort of tried to use all the same hole sizes where we can to kind of keep 
the grommets all the same, so everything gets grommeted. Um, and then uh, speaking of the wiring, there's, there's wiring tabs that get welded in every every foot as well, and they go right back, you know, right up to the front of the trailer on both sides. Uh, moving along, we've got a bit of a notch for the suspension so that gets reinforced, so the frame's just as strong um, through that area. Um, here's a, a detail. This is the rear uh, side marker lamp and, uh, and a bracket mounting point for the uh, safety stops. They're just like a, a lockout so you can't accidentally lower the trailer while, uh, while you're towing or when you don't want to. Um, so some, some more sort of wiring pass through and some more pickup points, same thing. So they'll get grommeted and, and the wiring will come through here to the to the rear tail light. Um, so there's our rear cross member, some more tie down points at the back and um, pickup points for the uh, rear tail lights. Um, so that's some more laser cut and folded parts that get, that'll go on. These are for a, a new design tail light that we're running this year. Um, it's a really nice LED from uh, Technique. So these are uh, brand new design brackets and, and uh, we're really excited about running those. They should look good. Um, what else? Yeah, so to the back, the frame tapers. Tapers up to one inch, um, so it's flat along the top and tapers up along the bottom. And uh, that allows a, a super low approach angle. And uh, you know, you're barely gonna notice that when you drive up it, um, when the trailer's lowered. So the, the framing for the ramp hasn't come in yet. We're just waiting on that from our supplier and then um, this just has to get welded on as well. It's a uh, bracket for our, our uh, license plate that folds out of the way, so. Yeah, so here we are. Um, that's basically it. Um, if you've got any questions, let us know, comment, um, and uh, we'll try and sort of show you whatever you'd like to see and a little bit more of behind the scenes.